Hello everybody. So, this month I read Chris Broad's Abroad in Japan by Chris Broad which, of the YouTube channel Abroad in Japan, which is about a man who is abroad in Japan. Branding at its finest. Anyway, the overall book is basically a series of anecdotes about his life in Japan with some insight from his future self Ronin. It basically reads like a uh, mini autobiography covering slices of his life before, just before getting to Japan in the London Embassy in 2012, all the way up to 2022. Overall, I'd say I enjoyed it, but as a fairly active view of the channel, it was getting kind of dull once we reached uh, 2019, since that's when I started watching him quite consistently. And that's when a lot of the stories were just things that he did on YouTube, which I'd already seen. But but the beginning was more interesting, I'd say, actually, since there was less stuff I'd actually heard about before, and plenty of the endokes had been reused and retold in various podcasts, appearances, and stuff, but there was more context given in these uh, early chapters. So it was interesting, plus it was more focusing on the actual, like, wow, I've just moved to Japan, whoa, as opposed to the funny moments, really. So, you know, that was interesting. The book reads like an abroad in Japan script. Not that it's a bad thing or anything, but you can really hear Chris's voice when you read the book. Which, if you're a fan of the channel, is a good thing, obviously. But you can very much imagine him telling this story while he farts about in Kitty Kyushu or something, so... It's... Doesn't help the repetitive feeling at times. <laughs> uh, one of the largest themes, I suppose, was... Chris being very anxious about everything, and to be fair, he was in some stressful situations, and some interesting situations, to put it lightly. But he says himself he's glad that he's an anxious person, and he's glad that he pushed through in order to do all the amazing things that he's done. Said by him, not me. My biggest critique as a rampant view of the channel is how... Oh, yeah, I remember that happening. Skip. The last four to five chapters were. I understand that's somewhat avoidable when your job is producing content. It's hard to tell people about major events in your life that aren't deeply personal without getting into your job, which people will have probably been watching. I don't know what else he could have done, really. The book's concept is talking about Chris's life in Japan. I'd be more interested behind the scene. I'd be more interested in the behind the scenes YouTubing stuff, for obvious reasons, I can imagine. But that's not what the book's about. What this book's about is what his YouTube channel videos are about, which I've already seen. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the new Chris law was interesting, but once it felt like that ran out, I was honestly starting to skin right towards the end. Oh, so Roy the boy, a real New Zealander. He helps Chris out in the first year of so in Japan, shows Chris the real Kiwi lifestyle of smoking copiously and drinking even more. The man mastered Japanese language and is one of the world's thickest Kiwi's accent. So as far as I care to imagine, anyway, he also is responsible for Chris's terrible health, like a true Kiwi chid. <laughs> and there's a couple of uh, mentions of interpersonal relationships throughout the book as well, mainly ones that helped Chris get through Japan, which makes sense, you know. This is really about Chris's life. It's about his life being abroad in Japan. <laughs> Overall, I'd recommend this book to two types of people, Chris Broad fans and people thinking about moving to Japan. It gives lots of insights into the gives lots of insights that I can see being very helpful to people who want to move here. Lots of tidbits, some funny moments to keep the mood light, though it gets a bit serious specifically when he talks about his tsunami and Fukushima documentaries, for obvious reasons. I think it's fitting to encapsulate the essence of living in Japan, as Chris quoted someone else saying, Japan is a land of contrasts. 7 out of 10.